Hey guys, how's it going? Now we all love to customize our Android devices and what's the first step into customizing your devices? Well, it's obviously installing a custom launcher. But with so many great options to choose from, what are the best ones out there? Well, that's what this video is all about. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the most unique, customizable and fluid launchers that you can install on your Android phone. They're all free, come with a ton of features and most importantly, don't eat up your battery. So without wasting any time, this is one from Guiding Deck and this is my list of the top 10 best Android launchers that you can use in 2022. Let's get started. Okay, so kicking things off, we have my go-to recommendation, which is Nova Launcher. I mean, Nova has pretty much been there since I can remember, but it has continued to stay at the top because of just how good it is. The Nova Launcher offers a plethora of features in terms of customizability, such as changing the style of grids, adding custom gestures, changing the style of folders, using third-party icon packs, and whatnot. Nova also has seamless integration with Sesame for a faster universal search and is quite lightweight on your system resources too. Of course, you can unlock more features and gestures with Nova Prime, but the free version itself should be enough for most folks. Next on this list is a launcher that I recently switched back to and honestly, if you're looking for a minimal yet customizable launcher out there, Smart Launcher 6 is one of the easiest launchers out there to recommend. Like I said, Smart Launcher recently received its biggest update in the form of Smart Launcher 6 and the app brings about tons of features in a very simple to use design. It features a powerful search engine that allows you to search for what you need in just a few tabs. There's automatic app sorting as well, so you don't have to waste your time organizing your icons. You also get both gestures and hotkeys, which are configurable, and there's support for app notifications as well. The launch is also one of the rare ones to work almost perfectly with Android gesture navigations, while most other ones just fail to work. All right, so moving along, I basically use two Android phones on a daily basis, like one, is this Android phone and the other is this iPhone. Now, obviously I can't change the look and feel of the iPhone right here, but I can make my Android device look and feel a lot similar to my iPhone right here so that I don't get confused between different devices. And that's exactly where Launcher iOS 15 comes in. It is basically what the name suggests. It brings iOS's launcher to your Android device. Now I know there have been multiple fake ones, but this one works amazingly well. It's unbelievable how close the launcher is to the real iPhone experience. Like long pressing an app icon brings up an iOS like menu of options to rearrange and remove the app. The launcher also provides the iPhone's home screen like widget section. Additionally, you can also download apps from the developer to get features like Apple's control center and assistive touch if you really want the full on iOS feel on your Android phone. Next up, this is a list of the best Android launchers. So of course, launcher had to be here. While the development of it had been paused for a while, it has resumed and the developer is working on launcher Android 12 right now. Launcher takes the Google Pixel launcher as a base and then adds a whole lot of customizability to it. You can customize the dock, the home screen setup, various gestures and so much more. If you're looking for a launcher that offers a ton of features but doesn't require you to spend a lot of time learning it, Launcher is your best bet. Now at the time, the newer version is still in testing, but you can download those pre-release versions from GitHub from the link down below. Moving along, one of the few things that Microsoft has done right is basically sort their Android development team. I mean, Microsoft has a collection of some of the best apps out there for Android devices, including a very good launcher in the form of Microsoft Launcher. Designed for productivity enthusiasts, Microsoft Launcher offers a smart card composed of several actions, including tasks, sticky notes, a calendar, frequently used apps, screen time usage, and recent activities. Now there are various customizability options on offer as well, such as customizing your home screen, gestures, app draws, icon shapes, and so much more. We also get daily wallpapers and the support for use in landscape as well. Moving along, if you want a perfect blend of minimalism, productivity, and beauty and simplicity, look no further than Niagara Launcher. Unlike most other launchers, it does not offer a ton of useless features that most users will never want, but limits itself to offering a simple and practical interface. And the homepage is just the text of your favorite apps, which you can save up to 12 of them. And you can also find an alphabet sidebar at the right, which you can slide through and find the apps instantly. Additionally, you can add one widget along with your favorite apps on the home screen as well. So yeah, this is clearly an app that looks good and is definitely focused for productivity enthusiasts. Next up on this list, we have Total Launcher. 
and i mean total launcher is one of the most customizable launchers out there actually it's not one of the most it's the most customizable launchers out there which also means there's a massive learning curve to it but once you get the hang of it there is nothing that even comes close to total launcher total launcher is more like a platform that allows you to make the launcher work in any way you want You start off with a standard dial in front of you with a contacts page and an app drawer below it. But dig a bit deeper into the settings and you can change pretty much everything and customize the stuff the way you want. Now there are plenty of guides on how to set up your home screen using Total Launcher and I would suggest checking some of them before going all in yourself because yeah this is a big rabbit hole. Moving along one of the more modern launchers to come out here and go head to head with the likes of Nova and Microsoft Launcher is Hyperion Launcher. Now Hyperion offers pretty much the same smoothness like that of Nova Launcher along with some cool animations and a ton of features. You get folder cover gestures, easy icon selection, integration with Google Home feed, multiple accent colors, custom docs and well even the ability to change the font. All right so here's a thought a lot of folks out there use a launcher but have multiple pages inside it you know have one page for the apps one page for widgets one page for maybe just the clock widget stuff like that but what if you wanted a launcher with a single page that fitted all of it inside it but in a way that it was still readable and usable and still looked elegant that's where all in one launcher comes in aio or all in one launcher is all about showing everything possible on the home screen I mean seriously you can find frequently used apps notifications time weather date alarms timers mails calendar events google feed even your twitter feed and what not there are also quick actions like wifi bluetooth etc now to find all your installed apps all you have to do is just swipe from the left or you can even search for them isn't that cool last on this list but definitely not the least we have ruthless launcher It was actually recommended by a lot of you guys on our previous videos and I have to say it's a pretty good launcher. The launcher is super lightweight and yet is feature rich. You can change everything from fonts, icon shapes and sizes, app launch animations, custom grids, swipe gestures and much more. Now there's also smart unread that displays your topmost notification right in the glance widget. And well, that was it. As always you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about down in the description box. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by hitting the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Ron from Guiding Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.